So hey guys, it's Jam. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll share to you on how I stay organized in an online engineering class. Kung mawapansin nyo, props lang to. Wala po siyang grado. It's an anti-radiation glass lang. So I'll share to you the 6 steps kung paano ako nagiging organized in an online engineering class, especially patapos na yung first year college kasi mag second year college na ako next school year. So, ayun lang naman. If you guys want to know on how I stay organized in engineering online classes, the tips and everything, just keep on watching. So, first na isa-share ko sa inyo is this first step which is you have to have your advanced research. Kung tinatanong nyo kung ano yung advanced research, it is about your subjects or courses na kukunin nyo in college, especially dun sa program na pinag-inrolan nyo. Like for me, ang, kailangan, ang mga na-research ko nun is yung calculus 1 and 2. Hindi naman siya yung in-depth na pag-research. It's just like parang kailangan mo tignan yung overview ng course na yun para naman hindi ka mabibigla when you start to enroll on that course. So, in advance reasons for your course or subjects, kailangan nyo malaman yung contents na nilalaman yung course na yun. Like for example, yung sa calculus 1 and 2, kailangan din meron yun yung trigo, hyperbolic functions, algebra, and anything ganun. Basta yung mga topics na nandun sa course na yun, kailangan malaman nyo siya. Magkaroon kayo ng overview or parang review about doon sa course na yun. So, ito, lastly, about our first step to add an advanced reading. Kasi kailangan yun. Pero, parang nandun na rin naman siya sa pag-alam ng contents ng course or subjects na itatake nyo. So, the next step na nakatulong sa akin para makasurvive ngayong online classes kahit hindi pa tapos ng academic school na namin ngayon is keep on track. So, ang ibig sabihin ng keep on track? Dito sa keep on track, kailangan mo i-check yung daily to-do list mo. Like, katulad ng akin, ayan, kung makikita niyo dyan, ayan, kung makikita niyo dyan, ito, itong papel na to, that is my to-do list sa araw-araw. And, Fun fact, hindi ko pa siya naayos ngayon, La, pang last week pa yan. Ang ginagawa ko is weekly planner. Weekly planner yung nandyan ko and hindi siya daily yung basta yun. Yung daily to-do list ko is nandito sa laptop kasi mostly gumagamit ako ng laptop when I do, when I attend my online classes. And one advantage kapag lagi kayong gumagamit ng laptop, tapos nandun din yung daily to-do list nyo is madali nyo siyang ma-update from time to time, especially kapag may natapos na kayong task and may idadagdag kayo parang gano'n. Kailangan nyo mag-alot ng time for that task. Kunwari, for this task, I'll do this for 30 minutes, then break, then for one hour another task, and so on and so forth. On this step, kailangan nyo din i-double check lahat-lahat. Merong mga cases na minsan hindi nagkakaroon ng conference because yung professors nyo is wala silang internet or maybe may something na emergency or ganun or imumove nila yung conference on the other day or pwede namang biglang magkakaroon ng conference. Daily nyo na lang i-check yung canvas nyo kung meron ba kayong conference meetings, deadlines, group activities and anything na kailangan nyo gawin for that day so you'll not procrastinate or cram and mas okay kapag ginawa nyo yung task nyo ahead of time before the deadline not, not the day before the deadline so the third step naman is eto use Pomodoro Technique Pomodoro Technique is basically a schedule time for your study time parang kailangan meron kayong 25 minutes for study then 5 minutes for break then 25 minutes again for studying like 
you know, meron ko yung schedule kung kailan kayo mag-aaral. So, this Pomodoro technique, I personally use yung 30 minute study, 10 minute break. Pwede rin naman 25 minutes study, 5 minutes break, 45 minutes study, 45 minutes study, 15 minute break, parang mga ganun. You can search for some YouTube videos na gumagawa ng Pomodoro study with me and dun ko discover yung Pomodoro technique. Uso merong nauuso ngayon ng study technique which is yung anime anime doro anime doro anime doro para so itong anime doro or anime doro naman nakita ko rin siya sa YouTube which is meron kayong parang alatad time may 25 minutes for study and then yung break mo yung 10 minute break mo you'll allot it to watch an anime ewan ko kung nakakatulong yun kasi parang feeling ko kung ako yun kung kunyari Okay, drama ba yung papanoorin ko? Parang gusto ko siya ituloy-tuloy. Hindi ko siya kailangan gawin during break, you know. Pero ay I'll leave some links down below sa mga YouTube videos na pwede nyong gawin, gamitin while you're using Pomodoro Technique on studying, okay? So, the fourth step is set your priorities. Kailangan to in this time of college kasi first year ka na girl. Kailangan mo mag-set ng priorities mo. Like, you know, in line with your to-do list daily or weekly. Kailangan mong gawin yon. Ilalagay mo doon kung ito, kailangan ko una tong gawin kasi malapit na yung deadline na. Or kaya kailangan ko naman tong gawin kasi matagal siyang gawin. You know, for me naman kasi ang ginagawa ko to set my priorities. Meron na for household chores. Hindi dapat nakakalimutan yun. I have my schedule kung kailan ako maglilinis ng kwarto. Kailan ako maglilinis sa bahay. Kailan, kailan ako maghugos ng pinggan. And then, meron din dapat for akads. Siyempre, kailangan nyo for akads. And then also, for content making na. If you're into fashion, you can follow me on Instagram at jamily.adona meron ako mga fashion contents doon na may fit and also sa content making nag-schedule ako kung kailan ako mag-film kailan ako mag-edit ng video, kailan ako mag-edit ng thumbnail, kailan ako mag-start mag-edit kailan ko siya ipopost kailan ko siya i-schedule parang maganda, ang dami kasi ginagawa for content making, so I have to maximize my time every single day Okay, so the second to the last, which is the fifth step, is to be familiar with basic formula. Most of nga ng mga engineering programs is basically math and science. So sa science naman kasi, mostly computations na yun, lalo na sa, sa physics, tsaka sa chemistry. Woo, I hate that! Tip ko sa inyo to, kasi ito yung ginawa ko in this past modular groups namin sa TIP. Yung ginawa ko para maging familiar ako sa mga formulas na tinuturo sa amin and also sa mga formulas na tinuro na sa amin dati na nagagamit ko ngayon I write it on a paper sa malaking paper, bond paper yung mga formulas na namin. Sa isang bond paper, dun, mo nakal dun nakalagay yung mga formulas for chemistry, for physics, for calculus 1, for cal calculus 2. Like nakakategorize siya like for this is the hyperbolic function, trigonometric functions, quadratic functions, and anything. Mm. Ayun. Another thing is explore ways on how to solve problems easier. May makikita kayo sa mga YouTube tutorials kung paano yung masasolve ang isang problem on an easier way. Kasi meron akong encounter dati na proof ko na natinuturo na yung complicated way ng pag-solve ng problem na yun pero nung nakita ko siya sa YouTube tutorials may mas madadali pang step kung paano niya siya masasolve ng mas madali kasi you know doon na tayo sa mas madali kasi doon sa pahihirapan pa tayo okay ayun about doon sa mga YouTube tutorials na may kita nyo sa YouTube. Maglalagay na lang ako ng mga link ng YouTube channels nila sa baba. Like for example yung Khan Academy si Michael Van Wiesen basta yun si Michael si Paring Michael tinuturoan niya ako si Paring Michael <laughs> and also the organic chemistry. Yung tutor ko sa chem 
hindi lang naman siya sa akin, meron siya sa calculus, physics, and everything na computations. Magaling yan. Also, meron din namang mga Filipino YouTube tutors. Tutors sa mga tawag ko sa kanila kasi tutors naman talaga sila. Nagtuturo sila sa ibang tao for free. Ayun. Ang maganda, dito, ang maganda dito sa mga YouTube tutorials is for free sila lahat. And lastly naman is for the sixth step, don't forget the rest. Kailangan niya. So, together with your to-do list, daily or weekly, kailangan mag-lagay din kayo ng araw kung kailan kayo mag-rest. Like, araw talaga kung kailan kayo mag-rest. For example, sa akin ngayon, Friday is my rest day kasi doon lang yung conference na, doon lang yung araw na wala kaming conference and also hindi ganun ka hectic or ka tight yung schedule ko tuwing Friday. So, minsan din in my rest day, ini-include ko yung pag-film ng videos. Ayan lang naman, don't forget to rest. Mag-relax kayo for that day. Gawin nyo lahat yung mga leisure activities na gusto nyo gawin. Buong magdamag kayong manood ng k-drama, magdamag kayong maglaro. Like, you know, meron kayong araw for the for your rest day. And in line with that, kung meron kayong rest day, meron din kayong araw kung kailan productive dapat kayo. Like for example, Friday, ako dapat nagre-rest. Kailang by Monday, productive ako buong araw. Kailangan tatapusin ko lahat ng task ko within this week on Monday. Parang, you know, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, medyo petis-petis na lang ako. Gagawin ko na lang yung mga tasks na binigay within that day. So, yun lang naman yung mga ginagawa ko para maging organized ako in engineering class. So, wala naman ako sasabihin and I'll continue this vlog na, okay? Stream, don't fight the feeling, okay?